this is like a necessary evil, right? Um, someone here is being faced with the, it's like a, it's a final moment. It's a separation from something, um, a change, a relieving, a, a missing, a letting something go. It's happening in the moment. Now, the person who's having this experience, they know that they have to let this thing go. Um, and letting this thing go in some sort of way helps them. And they know that, I mean, it helps them in real time and upfront, like it's a tangible thing. But a part of letting this go also frames what is happening like in their reality in a much bigger picture because this person is going to have to part with someone or something that is, I, I feel like there's more than one thing that is really important to them or is like a staple in their day to day. You know, whatever, whatever the letting go is here, um, there are a bunch of small things, but there's a big thing and then there's a bigger thing. So this looks like a process that somebody's going through. Now, you know, this could be someone just as simple as like selling um, a piece of jewelry or um, getting rid of an old car or something like that. But whatever it is, the idea of getting rid of the car confirms for them like they won't have this thing that they've had for the last 10 years or, you know, they have this special moment in. So there could be some separation anxiety that someone's dealing with. Um, also, you know, I'm also getting like somebody is releasing one thing and that's bad for them. OK, and it causes them to let something else go that's equally as bad as for them. And the way they show me this is like two things that someone does together. And both of these things might be damaging to them. Like somebody might um, only smoke cigarettes if they have a beer where they're going to stop drinking beer. Therefore, they stop smoking cigarettes. Right. Or somebody might something like that. There's some combination of thing like one thing is being taken away. So it's automatically going to take this other thing away. Now, whatever this thing is, that's being taken away. It is a hindrance to your life in some way. It causes some sort of problem, deficit, procrastination. It creates an environment that makes things not so healthy or not so good for you overall. Right. And when I look at like, why are they releasing from the thing? Like, why have they come to this point of releasing from the thing? I think that somebody is trying to, you know, I, I, I think that they're trying to change their life to prepare for someone else. This could be to prepare for a child, for a new lover. You know, there could have been some sort of ultimatum put down. This could be a health scare that somebody's going through. But either way it goes, there is going to be separation from there's a bunch of stuff here. Like there's a, there are definitely material things that are, that this person is releasing themselves from. I also keep getting a dress. Like somebody might be getting rid of a dress that they really love. Um, but there, there are a bunch of things. Now, one of you might be like remodeling a part of your house or a kitchen or something. And when you're doing that, you're letting go of old appliances. Um, you could be letting go a particular part of like a wall or a house that is significant or something. And all of this change, again, you're excited about the change, but the letting go of the old, it could be a little hard. And I, I, that's okay. Um some sort of way this letting go generates some level of stability or money for you. It definitely, for the for those of you who are letting go of something toxic, somebody here might decide, like, I'm going to stop getting high or, you know, whatever. It's like I th this person might get high and then they sit around all day and watch television, right? So when they stop getting high, they're going to start stop watching television so much, but they're also worried like now what do I do? 
now what do I do? Where do I focus that attention that I was using to watch TV? Like, what am I going to do with that time? What? And they're afraid about filling in the space. Spirit said you will find viable solutions. Also, whoever I'm talking to, they're not fully on board with the releasing of something here. They know they have to, they know they need to, they know it will benefit them, but they're not fully on board with it right now. So they might procrastinate, but I don't think that this procrastination is going to be long. They might procrastinate for a day or two, but they're, they're going to get around to getting it done because there's some sort of deadline they have to hit. There's something else going on in the background and this thing has to be gone before something else shows up. So they're going to get moving on it. Okay. You know, I got to tell you, I feel this fear in my belly. I feel the fear in my belly and I'm trying to look for a solution for it. And I don't, I don't see like something tangible to hold on to, to take this fear out of my belly, but it will fade as other things begin to show up. Somebody here is about to go through an entire life transformation you know, wh whoever watches my videos more, most consistently, I feel like I'm picking up on your energy quite often. So whoever I'm talking to, you are definitely facing a move. Like you're facing a big change in your life, but almost every collective reading is about like some huge change every now and then it's something else but right now there's a heavy energy on transformation change release moving on moving forward and there's a lot of fear surrounding surrounded by it my best advice to inspire you is to always think about those google photos they send you like reminder photos every year and Facebook does the same thing. Like, do you remember when this was two years ago, right? And you look back at a time in your life when you were having a particular experience. And when you look at those pictures, you might remember like, man, back at that time, you know, things were, I was popping, you know, I, I had all of this going on. This was about to happen. And I wasted all that time afraid of myself, afraid of what was coming, only to realize like, man, I'm here. Like, this is what I got out of that. Don't let the fear cloud the beauty of the newness that's coming. Of course, with death, there comes some level of sadness, but it is never completely over. There's always newness on the horizon. I love you.